So I'm just going to do a quick explanation of the thyroid deiodinase. Uh, this is for MedChem 2 again. Um, so up here we have the T4 molecule as you can see. Let's zoom in on here. So right over here we have what's known as the inner ring and then on the outside is the outer ring. As you see there's one, two, three, four iodines. So that's where it gets its name T4 or also known as thyroxine. So um, these iodines are numbered. In the inner ring we just go three is on top and five is on bottom. In the outer ring we have three prime on top and five prime on bottom. So in order for um, these enzymes to come in uh, deiodinase, de um, you need to either attack the inner ring or outer ring. So we basically have two separate options here of what we can do. So first let's start out with if we have an inner ring deiodinase first. So IRD stands for inner ring deiodinase and the actual enzyme I'm not going to give you the name because this is just how it's listed in the notes but D3 is the main enzyme. D1 is also used but to a lesser extent. And so what um, D3 does here is it removes the 5 iodinase. And if we take a look at the picture, here's the 5. So going to the next picture, um, the removal here of the 5 leaves us with 3 I's and we get what's called RT3. Okay, so then the second step it's going to go through the ORD, which is the outer ring deiodinase, and that uses D1 in this case, and to a lesser extent D2. And um, we're going to have removal here of the 5, five prime. So as you take a look up here, the 5 primes on the outer ring, which is out here. This is the inner ring, remember. So if we remove that with this enzyme, this is the structure we get which is known as T2. It has one, two remaining, both at the three prime and the three position, which then gets metabolized to T1 and broken down further, which I'm not going to show in this video. So that was the first method of the deiodinase. The second one is if we attack the outer ring first. So if we attack the outer ring first here, we have outer ring deiodinase first, we actually use D2. Now over here, if you remember, we used D1 primarily, D2 to a lesser extent. So something special about this one is we use D2 primarily. Um, and the way I kind of remember these is uh, the 2 and the 3, which we'll get at this other step here. Um, so this one uses D3 primarily, D1 to a lesser extent. So I remember um, outer inner is 23 primarily and inner outer is 31. Um, you can come up with your own way of how to remember if um, <clears throat> you have some sort of easy way of remembering these but I just like to remember um, 23 as like I, I relate things to sports, so 23 would be like Michael Jordan, he was number 23. And outer inner would just be like Michael Jordan gets the offensive rebound and then he goes in for the score. So OI offensive and in for the score. So that's how I remember that pathway. And then this one, um, 31 IO. You know, you could just think of, again, I'll just relate this to basketball, but number three is um, Dwayne Wade. So Dwayne Wade goes in for the score. And then number one used to be, um, Tracy McGrady used to be number one, and so he used to shoot outside shots. So I just like to use these, you know, weird kind of methods of remembering things, but it helps them stick in my head. So whatever that is 
for all of you. Um, you can leave them, in, you know, leave them in the comments if you'd like. I'd like to hear a couple ways that other people memorize things like this. Okay, so back to this. Like I said, you on the outer ring, you remove the five prime first. So here's the five prime, and over here you see it was removed. Then we use um, again D3 to remove the five. And then you get ultimately the same thing, which is the T2 molecule, which leads to the T1 and ultimate metabolism. So thank you for your time, and I hope this video helped out.